Now, so, we were talking about the idea of smartphones mm-hmm. and the materials in your smartphones possibly running out. You know, probably um, one of the most terrifying things I've heard this year. Yes, <laughs> and this is a, the, the thing is, this is a possibility. This is a very strong possibility. It's not just one of those ideas that we're sort of throwing out there and thinking, it could happen, it may or may not ever Fear happen. Fear-mongering. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in our future. Oh, oh, it actually is. Like, it looks full stop. that way. Um, basically, a lot of the materials that are used for smartphones are disappearing. Um, laptops and smartphones both They're, we're having issues where a lot of the stuff is disappearing um, it's to do with mineral deposits um, a lot of minerals and stuff that are being used are just running out we're running out of them okay. um, and there was a study that was done by international researchers it was led by the University of Delaware oh. um, and they found that we're running out of a lot of these things um, it's stuff that's used for making mm-hmm. smartphones stuff that's used for making laptops and also stuff that's used in um what you call them, smart cars, not smart cars, um, electric cars. I was about to say, I was like, I hear now, like smart cars aren't even, so like they're, they're finished before they even begun, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, they, they <laughs> barely exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like electric cars, where possibly they, they barely exist and we're possibly losing them already. But Crap. a study by a team of international researchers, as I said, from the University of Deli- Delaware, Delaware, Deli- <laughs> Del- Deli- Delaware, Deli- they make food and stuff in Delaware. Yeah. Um, but they have found basically that um, even recycling, <laughs> we'll get back in, even recycling the materials from your phone is not really going to be enough. Um, oh. That's what they've said, because when it comes to other things, um, a lot of time we say, well, oh, recycling, we'll just recycle the stuff and use the same stuff again. It'll be fine. We'll, be, we'll make it work. Nope. You know what I want now to be a thing right now? You like... You know the way you have your your bottles, your reusable bottles mm-hmm. of water, where you fill it up, la 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 la, and you have different things in the world at the moment where you can just replace the parts. Yeah. I want a phone like that. I want a phone that I pay a certain amount of money for, and then it's like a car, like you know, you just update the parts. So like a modular type of a deal. Yeah, because <clears throat> like I mean, part of I'd say part of the problem is like. Because they're, they're a money racket. Like, I mean, I I tend to not own a phone for more than two years now. Because yeah. I'm just like, oh, I'm due an upgrade. Or, oh, this is like, you know, That's starting to thing. slow I'm down. That's I'm due an upgrade. Stuff. Like, why yeah. are you due an upgrade? Yeah. And um, it's so, like, I, I, I'm not a very techie person. Like, I mean, I wouldn't really be able to tell you the difference, say, between... Um, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 9 or 10 it's not the okay, no, iPhone yeah. did they skip they 9 they skip 9 the iPhone everyone 10. skips 9 um, like Windows skipped 9 as well yeah like I mean yes they're prettier and they're faster and stuff like that but on a, like I mean the camera that's all I care about really yeah and how many apps and games I can have. I can fit. And that's yeah. the thing as well I suppose with iPhones as opposed to Android that <sighs> you're limited on storage me. yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway going back to this we're running out of all these things including copper we're actually massively really? running out of copper um, yeah, which is obviously used in phones. Now, yeah. just to, before I go on to the copper thing, to go back, the reason that they're saying we can't recycle a lot of the, the stuff, because you might think, OK, we're running out of these things, but millions and millions of phones are sold every year mm. and millions and millions of phones are done away with every yeah. year. Could we not just take that uh, stuff and use it again? No. Do they, the, do they depreciate? No, the reason that we can't do that is it would actually be worse overall. There'd be more money involved and more time and uh, manpower and stuff involved in oh. actually stripping the teeny tiny amounts of these things that are used in phones out. Right. So it wouldn't, economically, it wouldn't make any sense. Economically or ecologically, it wouldn't make any sense. That's so frustrating. Mm. We need a super phone. Everybody should just have a platinum phone. Platinum and glass. <laughs> a platinum phone. Yep, platinum and glass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I seen the thing there where they were talking about, yeah, um, the copper, the last major copper find that we had in the world mm. was about 15 years ago. What? Yeah, we haven't had a major find when it comes to um, uh, copper in a long time. And copper is used in an awful lot of yeah. things. Everything it's a very from, good conductor, isn't it? It's very, yeah. It is, and everything from technology, just the pipes. Yeah. Copper pipes all over your house. Oh, sure, we'll just go back to the lead pipes. They were fine. Yeah, they didn't kill They got anybody. the job done. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> so maybe if we could find other things, yeah. other uses for those things. Now, the problem is a lot of the mineral, a lot of what people are saying is going to kind of be um, used in the future, be like, you know, green technologies. Like, that's okay. one thing they're looking at. Yeah. The problem is a lot of the stuff that's used in, um, apl- in making these, you know, green or... Um, whatever you want to call them we'll say green technologies yeah. are the same things that are used for the likes of laptops and stuff like that okay. so that causes another issue yeah. where you know this stuff's being used for other things and it means we now can't use it for like this for laptops um, 
so there's issues that they were talking about the materials that um, are imperative to both industries so both green industries and for making laptops are stuff including um, I'm going to get this wrong neodymium <coughs> ah yes um, terbium and iridium I know iridium oh I've heard uh, that one yeah 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 that one is my favourite yes <laughs> but they, they are being used in both and okay. they're limited supplies so it's like do we focus on having these green technologies or do we focus on having high quality laptops yeah. and tablets and stuff so in my head, just thinking of green technologies, I just had a vision of a biodegradable phone and how hilarious that would be. A biodegradable <laughs> phone. I recycled my phone. Yeah. Do you recycle your phone? <laughs> it's now cardboard. Like, you know the way phones aren't really waterproof? Yeah. Now they're not waterproof on another level. It's not that it breaks it. It's that it, you just no more. You just don't put it in the water. Yeah. No, it's very bad like, for you. You get into the ocean with your phone, you, it's gone. That's it. <laughs> it's it. Right, here's one as well. Um, talking about, you, you, you were talking about modular stuff, mm. modular phones. They yeah. exist. I Do just they? remembered, it just dawned on me, which is why I cut across it because I realised I would have forgot about it again. <gasps> why am I waving my book around? Um, <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> I'm modular so phones. excited, modular phones. There was a, a Kickstarter there a while ago for a phone, a modular phone. I don't know if it got off the ground, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the whole idea of it was you'd buy a base phone and it would be just very average, you yeah. know, like average camera, average this, average that. And you can actually then like slide off the camera and get a higher quality camera so if maybe if say for you you said the main thing that would be important to you would be the camera mm. so if say your main important things are camera storage and battery life right they're your three main things yeah. you don't really mind if the screen isn't like 4k yeah. 1080p screen will do you or maybe even a 720p as long as it's a nice screen yeah. whatever it'll do you uh, you know the, the photographs are higher quality than you're seeing on your screen all you really need your screen for is to make sure the thing you're taking the picture of is in front of you yeah. essentially <laughs> um so you could basically prioritize, right, I'm going to put more money into getting a better screen or a better camera, a better mm -hmm. battery for it and a better, um, what was the other thing I said? Um, Whatever. <laughs> battery life, camera and stuff along those lines. Yeah. So you pick your certain thing and that's what you want to focus on. That's cool. It's like a pick and mix. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> it's like a phone pick and mix. Yeah. I now want pick and mix. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea and I don't think it got off the ground because I think they worked out it would actually be a little bit too expensive to actually do it. I was just thinking like I feel like it would be quite expensive mm. to do it. Like as like you know, in a perfect world that would be the ideal kind of like you just yeah. go onto one singular like universal website and you could like even pick from brands like say oh yeah. I want like um Apple iOS but I want like a Samsung camera or something mm -hmm. like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um but yeah, that's kind of disappointing that I never got off the ground. Yeah. Um, oh. But going back to the, um, you know, the, the problems with not having enough stuff for phones. Mm -hmm. um, there's one specific thing, and I watched this thing, it was the BBC documentary on this kind of thing, and mm -hmm. they were talking about one really important element that's used in phones. It's a metal called indium. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason it's so important, basically it's a metal that it can also be in a liquid form, which isn't overly important to this. Yeah. But when you mix it with tin and oxygen, you get um, indium tin oxide, which is a transparent electro electrical conductor. Okay. Now, that's the important part. It's a transparent electrical conductor. Okay. Um, where would you reckon that would be used? A transparent electrical conductor on a phone? Your uh, screen. Ah. So it's what's used for the screen. So basically, um, under your, you've got the glass on your phone, and yeah. then under that is this electrical conductor, because the glass doesn't stop your electrical impulses from your finger getting to the screen. Is this like a plasma globe? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say no, I actually don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you, like like normal, it's what, in your phone that's in your hand, it's not yeah. in your hand anymore, in your phone <laughs> that was in your hand, that's what's under your screen. They're already being used, it's being used for all touch screens, that's how touch screens work. They have this. I kind of never questioned it. Yeah, what, you just assumed it was magic glass? No. Well, it kind of is magic it glass, because it is clear. Yeah. And it's, you know, used for all these touchscreens. I still don't understand touchscreen. Like, I mean, I had my first encounter with the touchscreen with a Nintendo DS. Like, back well, that in... That was different because that was... You have two different types of touchscreens. Yeah. You've got your capacit capacitive touchscreens and resistive touchscreens. Resistive ones are like the, the pressure, DS. and Yeah, it's pressure. Yeah. And old smartphones, like some of the yeah. early smartphones. I, I still have an old smartphone in the house that had like a plastic screen <laughs> and you compress it. That's how it worked, like a DS screen. <laughs> yeah. But they're really inaccurate. And you, yeah. in a lot of them, you can't multi-touch, so you can't zoom. Oh, yeah. You can't pinch zoom because you can't multi-touch. 
I t- wait, sorry, just as a side note, way too many times have I been looking at a magazine or like a picture on a wall or somewhere and I have done that like either pinching or, you know, that Zoom <laughs> thing and I will just silently like, you know, just shame myself. I'm like, good job, world. It's like when you touch a screen that isn't the touch screen. Yep. Oh, I've done that <laughs> so many times. Oh. Like you just without thinking, you just kind of. Yep. This isn't working. <laughs> Yeah, I've touch screens that aren't touch screens before. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> broke this touch screen calculator that was never touch screen. Um, but yes, but the way they work, the way the capacitive ones work is your finger basically is uh, completing the, the circuit. The circuit, thank you. Mm. With the membrane that's underneath the plastic. <clears throat> so when you press down, yeah. it's touching the plastic off the other part of the membrane and that knows where you touched. I see. It's slightly different, but basically the same with this um, indium yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Because... Essentially, that's now the um, the conductor, which is underneath the glass. Mm. And when you touch on the glass, it basically same thing. It kind of your finger completes the circuit and yeah. it tells tells it where your finger was. Very good. Um, so this, as I said, is used to make touch screens. Uh, it's obviously critical to our modern society. We need this. Yes. Because <laughs> touch screens are used for everything. Um, yeah. The the mobile phone app industry by itself is worth more than the Hollywood box office. What? Yeah. It's worth a lot of money. What? It's worth a lot of money. We should go make apps. We should. We yeah, should why make we, apps. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Let's go make apps. <laughs> Let's go learn how to make apps. Yeah. Now, there's a problem. Oh, no. There's of always there's a problem. Because we're talking about sustainability a little yeah. bit here. Oh, of course. Um, there is, it, now, there's only a tiny amount in, in your phone. So the phone you have listening now in your hand or that's sitting there or that you have there, there's only approximately 0.02 grams of this stuff in your phone. Huh. Teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, going back to what I said earlier about it not being worth harvesting these small amounts from your phone, uh. that's the kind of small amounts of stuff we're looking at here okay. in terms of what's being used in phones. So, that's all that's in the phone, which sounds like, oh, that's grand. That should yeah. be sustainable for ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's not, is it? Spoilers. No, because <laughs> we buy roughly a billion smartphones a year. A billion? <laughs> oh, I suppose it makes sense. There's more smartphones like- than there is people. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's oh, and I'm, here's here's me worrying about the the wind turbines. Yeah. No. 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 Scary, we should be scary worried smo- about the. <laughs> <laughs> we should be worried about these smones. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should be. We're, we're a bit screwed when it comes to this. So basically, we buy a billion phones, a billion smartphones. We peoples, um, and the pro- like again. Okay, that's a lot of smartphones. You also have to take into account tablets. You also have to look at laptops that use and like some touch screens. Some smartphones are basically a tablet now, and vice versa. Yeah, and like I thing, mean, the bigger the phone, the more the stuff you need to use, obviously. And that, like, I don't like. I don't like the really big smartphones. Like, I, like, I have, I have an iPhone eight, mm. and I had a six before it. Yeah. And wouldn't like you know it was starting to I it had it had a rough life it was on its way out I am a clumsy clumsy gal, and um, I needed a new one and I was due an upgrade, and um, I was really hesitant I was just like oh look I don't want a monster like I have small hands like, mm. um and then I found out that the eight was only marginally like something like a millimeter bigger than the <laughs> six like it like you could fit a six case on on the eight and I was like oh okay That'll do. but like it was that was a big kind of deal breaker for me yeah. I was just like I don't like I mean my hand just about like my thumb can get across to the other side of the screen I like a decent sized screen but mainly because I watch a lot of YouTube and stuff on my phone yeah like I would watch YouTube and Netflix um, and I understand like that's where the appeal of a bigger screen comes from but I'm also just like it's, it's first and foremost mm. a phone like I'm just like my hands are small I have to do that thing where you shrink the keyboard ah yeah <laughs> I've done that yeah <laughs> but um, so yeah so smartphones tablets yeah. Fridges now. I've seen fridges with touch screens on them. I've yeah, seen cookers. They, they reorder food. Yeah. They contact the supermarket we'll or something do, we, like that. We should do an episode on things like that, like appliances and stuff in your house that you don't, they, you know, they do oh their own God. things. Smart appliances. Yes. But again, laptops. There's some TVs now that are touch screen. There's yeah. loads of stuff now that's touch screen. So basically, we <laughs> we use about 700 tons of this stuff every year, this indium stuff. Oh. 700 tons of it is used every year. Um, that's probably increasing. This study was done a couple of years ago, but that's probably increasing. Um, to make it worse, in a geological study done in 2008 mm-hmm. estimated that there is um, there's roughly 16,000 tons available. 
So there's 16,000 tons available. We're using 700 tons of it each year. They're saying oh, basically, God. if this estimate is correct, by the end of this decade, we'll be starting to run out. As in the 2020 decade? I assume it's 2020. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we're, yeah, we're, otherwise we're, time we're at the end of the decade now. Yeah. I'm going to assume it's by 2020. Yeah. Um, the, do- the documentary actually just said by the end of the decade. So I'm assuming they're not talking yeah. this decade since this decade is basically over. <laughs> Surprise! So yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a scary, scary. Um, scary idea. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Who knows? Maybe maybe by the end of 2020s. 2020s. <laughs> I was going to say 2020. 2020s. Um, I'll be a hermit and I'll be like, oh, I don't need technology anymore. I don't need no smartphone. Yeah, it's um, not because I don't have a choice. It's I need a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I think I think we have let ourselves become really, really Very reliant dependent. on smartphones. Yeah. And that's bad. Yeah. and But like, as I said, like, God love my poor anxiety. Mm. Like, I need I need to know that like my family is safe, like at any moment of any well, see, time mobile of the day. phones will still exist. I know, but like, I mean, the technology I, to make a mobile phone isn't going anywhere. I also it's, hate I hate phone calls, so I just like text. dropping a text. Yeah, oh, that's You'll true. Yeah, I can still do that. We'll that's basically okay. be gone. Yeah, yeah. We'll be able to text in our pockets again. <gasps> Wait, can we have proper flip phones again? Hopefully. Oh my god. Although That's they're coming up with touchscreen flip phones, which I've seen, which is kind of cool. Oh, but like, I mean, you you wouldn't be able to do the sassy like, fl- like, like flipping it closed, yeah, or opening it. Yeah, I always like. Yeah, because like the ones that I've seen, it's where the the whole thing. <laughs> punching her microphone <laughs> yeah. there. You're that the, angry about yeah. the fact we have no <laughs> smartphones, and she's now punching her microphone. Um, like the ones that I've seen, they're they're all touchscreen, so yeah. like they're like, like yeah, they're like a clamshell touchscreen. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And I don't want that because, I mean, you can't do this sass- sassy snap and it closed. I'm like, oh, whoops, I just destroyed the screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, you kind of, well, depending, on, depending on the sass level, um, you could crack your screen doing that with the normal ones too. Um, but the the risk is far greater and the cost will be far greater yeah. as well to fix it because it's expensive enough. I do it with my phone because I have one of like the folio cases on it. Yeah. So I can actually slap it shut. Oh. So I do that sometimes. I still slap my phone shut. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. I, do, I miss flip phones. They were so great. Do I. Yeah, they were my favourite. And I had um I had one of those slidey ones. You know the ones that had the screen and the keyboard yes. underneath? Like they were they were a close second. They were pretty slick. Mm. I loved that. Yeah, they were pretty badass. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I mean it's like, oh it's a hidden keyboard. <laughs> There's a keyboard here somewhere. <laughs> back when phones needed them. Yeah. Um but yeah, I just think it's fascinating. It's mm. it's fascinating that we're running we're getting to the point now where our consumerism has kind of become so bad that we're like we're the thing that we've become super reliant on, we're yeah. destroying. Now, the thing here is, it is a sustainability thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the uh, the articles I was reading, they talked about how there's work being done on sustainability in so many areas when it comes to, um, you know, farming and when it comes to loads of different things. Mm. There's not as much work being done when it comes to sustainability, when it comes to minerals. Okay. Um, And that is where the problem is arising. And I suppose, like, you kind of forget, like, you always hear about, like, oh, we're we're running low on gold and all Mm. this and silver and, like, you know, the real desirable metals. But I mean, like, you kind of forget that copper is still... Like you find it, not find it the same way, but it's but it's, it's mine. It's yeah. A, yeah, it's a natural resource. It's yeah, mad. it's 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 crazy, and I mean, we have to wait and see. Yeah, you know, we just don't know where we're gonna be in ten years' time. Mm. You know, I I have to believe maybe that, we'll be on Mars. Who knows? Well, maybe. <laughs> I have to believe that there's going to be an alternative. Yeah. Right now, they're sort sort of saying, look, copper is one thing. They're saying, look, we ha- we have no viable alternative. Mm. Um, and um, this indium stuff, there's probably no viable alternative right now. Mm. But um, I have to believe they'll come up with something because they, they have to. See, I feel like it could either go that way where they, they do find something or we got we kind of go, we just go dark. Like, you know, this whole period, like the last, say, 20 years becomes like a, a cautionary tale for generations, like in, say, like two or three decades. And it's just like... 
they mind and they mind and they just they they burn through all their resources mm. until and they're burning through them faster than they could find a replacement. And so, like I mean, we'll have we'll have a different technology to replace it, but it will take a while. Like to replace, sorry, not to replace it. Um, exactly, but to have mm. like you know another super An futuristic thing, yeah. yeah. But it, nothing will be the exact same for a long time, and that we're going to have like you know about ten years of darkness as we go back to say like standard phones and mm. stuff like that. It's in, it's interesting. Mm. I I reckon that could possibly be what happens, <laughs> and there's something sort of nearly nice about that idea <laughs> of like you know, well, there you go. Look what happened the last time we had yeah. all of this technology. <laughs> it's like when economies sort of go down. It's like oh, yeah. well, look what happened last time we were yeah. wealthy. <laughs> Although we don't always learn from those. No, <laughs> no way does. We try. <laughs> this year, this time it'll be different. Huh. It wasn't. No, Who it wasn't, knew? wasn't different at all. Who saw that coming? Strange. <laughs> um, but there you go. Um, hopefully. This is going to be kind of resolved a little bit and it's yeah. not going to be as bad and big an issue, but you never know. I know, you really don't. You never Ooh, know. The drama.